So the biochemical substances produced by the plants are two types. One is primary metabolites. Primary metabolites. And second one is secondary metabolites. Okay, primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Listen, the biochemical substances produced by the plants are two types. Primary metabolites, secondary metabolites. What are primary and secondary metabolites? Very important. One more question. Or two marks. Sometimes it will come for two marks. Two marks also. Differentiate between the primary and secondary metabolites. Okay. The substances are compounds produced by the plants which are useful for their normal growth. Substances used for growth and development. Growth and development. Example, carbohydrates, carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Okay? The substances used for the normal growth, for normal growth and development are primary metabolites. Example, carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Secondary metabolites, compounds which are not useful for normal growth and development are called secondary metabolites, which are not useful. Compounds which are substances which are not useful for the normal growth and development are called secondary metabolites. They are alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums, etc. Okay. These are the primary and secondary metabolites. Okay. Substances used for normal growth and development. The example carbohydrates, proteins, and fats are primary metabolites. Substances which are not useful for the normal growth and development of the plant. Example alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums. These are called secondary metabolites. Okay now. The secondary metabolites are very important. Okay now. They are generally alkaloids. Okay now. They are very useful for the plants. What are those? I will explain about the second metabolites, alkaloids. First one is alkaloids. Alkaloids are nitrogenous by compounds, nitrogenous by products. So alkaloids are nitrogenous. Byproducts. So, alkaloids are nitrogen spice byproducts stored in the different parts of the body, like in the leaves, bark, stems, roots, and seeds. Okay, they are very poisonous. Alkaloids are very poisonous. Example: neem, swari, conine, morphine, cocaine, neem. Etc. Okay, now, phenyl, morphine, cocaine, different types of alkaloids. These are alkaloids. Okay, now, these are alkaloids. Second one is tannins. The tannins are carbon compounds. These are nitrogenous byproducts and poisonous, but tannins are carbon compounds. Carbon compounds. So these are carbon compounds stored in the different parts of the plant body. These tannins are used in the industries of leather. Okay, now leather and varnishes. Leather industry, especially leather industry. Example, Acacia and Acacia plants. Okay, now. And next one is resins. So very important, important parts, important are uh, secondary metabolites, resins, they pass special resin passages, they create the resin passages, passages in the plant body. We can see this one in the gymnosperms, do you know gymnosperms, seedless fruits, 
So we can see this one in the gymnosperm plants uh, like pinus. Okay? And another one is uh, gums. This is another type of alkyl gum. So we can see the we can see in the plants like neem and acacia. Neem and acacia the whitish structure, the gum like gum like structures that appears on the bark. Whenever the branches are cut down, the gum like substance is oozes out from the neem and acacia. This gum like substance by absorbing the water it swells on the part and it uh, helps in the healing of the plant it is uh, this is gums it is used in the gum adhesing and adhesing and binding and food production also okay those are gums neem and acacia neem acacia neem and acacia these plants neem and acacia these plants we can, in these plants we can see the gum like substance and the branches are the box whenever the branches are cut down a tear it the gum is oozes out from the neem and acacia branches and uh, by absorbing the water the gum swells it up okay now nah? it is used in the adhesive and uh, binding and also in the food the next one is uh, Gums and latex. Latex is a type of okay, now, sticky whitish liquid like um, structure. Okay, now, whitish uh, sticky whitish water like structure um, oozes from the barks of the latex plants. Latex, uh, for example, rubber plants. Okay, now the latex is stored in the latex cells. The latex is stored in the latex cells. From the latex of Hevia brasiliensis. Hevia brasiliensis. I will write here. Hevia brasiliensis. The mid, the rubber is prepared. Rubber is, from the latex of Hevia brasiliensis, rubber is made up of and from the latex of Zetropa, diesel is biodiesel. Biodiesel is manufacturing. Okay, now these are the parts. Okay, alkyds, canines, resins, gums, and latex. Latex is a sticky, whitish liquid like substance oozes from the plants. Okay, now. So, what are those plants? From rubber plant, example, Uvia brasiliensis. From the latex of UVR, rubber is prepared. From the latex of Zetropa, biodiesel is produced. Okay, now. So, these are the secondary metabolites. <coughs> Different types of secondary metabolites. Plants produce the secondary metabolites for their own purpose, but the humans realized the importance and uses of the secondary metabolites and used them by this all for their own. Purpose. Do you understand this? Next. Another one scientist, Brugman. Brugman, one scientist is there, a botanist. Brugman, a botanist proved that plants not only absorb the fluids from the soil, it also releases some peculiar, peculiar secretions into the soil. Okay, now. So, he did some experiments and explained the importance of excretion and secretion. Okay, so I am going to explain the differences between excretion and secretion. Up to now we discussed that excretion and secretion. Excretion and secretion are both same in manner. Both the terms are used for movement of the materials from the body. Excretion, it is the term used for Remove a face from their body. But secretion, a term used for movement of materials from one place to another place. Place. Excretion means remove a face to materials or get rid of face to materials from the body. Secretion means movement of material from one place to another place within the body. It is so excretion is active in nature. 
Secretion is active in nature. It is passive in nature. We know how tears, sweat, urine and waste materials are removed from the body. That is excretion. Okay now. So the in the human body hormones, enzymes, those are moved from one secretion. In plants also these are secondary metabolites are secreted from one place to another place. We understand this. So this is the excretion versus secretion. So up to now dear students, we discussed that excretion in plants, animals and different types of other organisms including unicellular organisms. So we completed our lesson excretion. Thank you. Thank you very much.